reading uh, what the men, the 56 men who signed the Declaration of Independence went through and what it cost them to be signers on that declaration uh, to bring us the freedom that we enjoy. My, what an amazing thing it is. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, Wayne, Pastor Wayne Hathaway with you to share some good seeds with you this morning. Uh, although those men paid a terrible price for our freedom that we enjoy, there is a freedom that we enjoy that cost an even greater price, and that was the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Uh, Hosea 2 through 5 and Hebrews chapter 2 are the chapters that I'm reading, my Bible reading schedule. And from the second chapter of Hebrews, verses 14 and 15, I just want to share some thoughts about what it cost for your, our freedom to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those who, through fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage. These verses are just a marvelous statement of what Jesus went through for us, for our freedom. He made, uh, he was made a little lower than the angels, it says in verse 8, and suffered death. But he didn't stay dead. And because he lives, he gives life to all who believe on his name. He shared in our humanity that we might share in his divinity. He has destroyed the works of the devil who has held humanity in fear of death all their lives long. And, and, uh, he has destroyed the works of the devil and, 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 and the fearful expectation, ex expectation of judgment. Jesus brings sweet relief from that fear for we have been given a future and a hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. People, people are ignorant of the bondage that they are in all the while thinking that they're free. They're not really free because sin has a hold on them. They are ignorant of the fact that apart from Jesus, there is no freedom, but in reality, only bondage to those who keep the, the one who keeps them there, always desiring to have, but never attaining, always desiring to know, but never really knowing. That is the plight of the ungodly. And to make matters worse, they will experience that. For all eternity. What a great salvation we have in Christ who has set us free, paid the price, the penalty for our sin. He became sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. Praise the Lord. He tasted death that we no longer have to fear death. Death becomes the passageway into eternity with, with Christ forever and ever, free from all the sin and sickness and separation that sin produces. Praise the Lord. Rather, we will experience fullness of joy and pleasure forevermore. The irony is that men seek pleasure in this life and are never full. We seek Jesus and he in return gives us pleasure forevermore. What a deal. What a huge blessing we have. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the freedom that we experience in you. True freedom. For to know Christ is to be set free. You will know the truth, Jesus said, and the truth will make you free. May the Lord richly bless you today as you enjoy the freedom that there is in Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>